The High V Halftime Report brought to you by High V of Liberty at halftime here. Drury 39 and the Cardinals 19. Five points for Jordan Lewis leading the way for the Redbirds. And Cameron Adams has 14 for Drury. Terry Rennick is the owner of Mathnasium here in Liberty and uh, one of our corporate sponsors. Good to see you, Terry. Honored before the game tonight. I've got so many questions about Mathnasium. I don't know where to start, but let's start with this. How would you get into the Mathnasium business? Well, math has always been a uh, very important uh, aspect for me. I've, I've always had a bliss for math, math, mathematics. got a master's in mathematics and computer science, and so uh, it just seemed like a natural fit. Is Mathnasium, uh, I'll use the word tutoring because I don't know any better, is that a good place to start to describe what you do? Well, I think it's a little bit more. Uh, what we we call ourselves a learning center. Uh, our goal is really to fix uh, fix the gap, uh, fix what's wrong, because if we don't, if we never fix what's wrong and what's missing, uh, then uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay there forever and, and, and really it won't, call, won't uh, fix any problem that they have currently. How do you do it? How do you help kids? Well, we start off with an assessment, uh, and uh, basically that tells us where the gaps are and how deep they are. And then what we do is uh, we build a customized program to help address those gaps, and, uh, and uh, then we test them along the way and make sure that they've got those gaps in place. Hey, I'm a former special education teacher, and I'm familiar with the idea of an individualized education program. Is this... Uh, not at the, but is it kind of the, the what you're talking about? Do you look at a kid's needs, strengths, and all that kind of stuff? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's basically a, a specialized IEP for math. All right. How? Where does your client base come from? Uh, basically, I've got students from all over the area. I've got for, uh, several school districts, um, uh, large ones uh, here in Liberty and Liberty North. Um, then I also have all the elementary schools. But I've had schools as far as way as uh, as Bethany. And um, and uh, Brookfield, okay. which is a 99 mile one way, <laughs> one way 99 miles. Wow! Terry Rennick, the uh, owner of Mathnasium, is our guest here at halftime with the Cardinals, down 39 to 19. That's the kind of math we don't like to see very often around these parts. Uh, your wife is involved in this too, right? Yes, uh, she's a, she's a partner. She's a, she, she's a retired teacher now, and uh, she helps me uh, on uh, special uh, weekends that I have. Okay. Uh, and again, when you work, do you have more staff, by the way? Is, are you talking about that? Uh, basically, as my staff, I've got uh, a good staff right now. I've got eight different eight instructors. I've got some high school students uh, that are teaching. Uh, basically, they're taking the upper-level math, so they work with my younger ch- children. I have some retired teachers, uh, math teachers, and I have one uh, who has a doctorate in math in uh, excuse me physics. Do you try to match up your staff to certain kids? In other words, look for the best relationship. Yeah, the it's important to have a chemistry, and uh, sometimes that's all it takes is just that chemistry. And and we 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 work very hard to try to match people up so that they will uh, they will be as successful as possible. All right. You uh, work with these kids, uh, and obviously I would think it's probably not the students that come to you, but probably their parents. Tell me about how a parent would get in contact with you and start uh, a program. Well, I, I kind of equate it to uh, like going to the dentist. Uh, you really That's don't want to go until you have to go. That's really interesting, yeah. And, and so, um, you know, advertising and, and marketing is pretty tough, but... But what we do is, is we find we, p- parents hear about us and they fear success from other students, and uh, then they contact us. And usually around grade check time and uh, towards the end of the school year Sounds or the beginning right. of school year is, is when uh, when we get a big push. Well, Terry, uh, again, in special education, when I worked uh, in that field, uh, I always felt like we paid an awful lot of attention to kids who were, were deficient in some areas. What about kids that want to rise to a higher level? Maybe they're, they've got some, some skill in math. Do you work at that end of the spectrum? Actually, our, our motto is we either catch up, keep up, or excel. Okay, let's and I've got, excel. I've got about, uh, I'd probably say anywhere from 8 to 10 students that are excelling, uh, and we're pushing them uh, to learn their math skills. I've got, some, I've got a fifth grader learning algebra right now. Uh, I've got a second, uh, second grader uh, into uh, multi-digit division and multiplication wow. and fractions. 
uh, it's it's really exciting to see them take off. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Uh, again, how do parents start? Do they contact you and, and have a consultation, or how does that work? Yeah, basically the best the best thing to do is just give me a call at eight one six four one five nine three nine three. Set up an app. Set up a time to come in with your child. We'll do an assessment. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, when you leave, you'll uh, have an idea where those gaps are. We'll go over that assessment together, and then. Uh, then we decide on, on what you want to do. Terry is Mathnasium a, uh, a, a, I don't want to say chain, but a... Uh, franchise? Franchise, thank you. Yeah, it is a franchise. It's, it's a very young franchise. It's about 11 years old. And it's one of the top franchises uh, for learning centers in, in the nation. Uh, we have about 560 locations in the United States. Wow. And uh, a lot of those are on the east and west coast and uh, down in Texas. We've got two here in Kansas City, one over in Overland Park and one here in uh, Liberty. How did you get involved in it? Well, I will tell you, I, I, was, I was searching for something to do, and I've always done, done math, and, and I've always uh, you know, helped other students, uh, friends of mine who had children who needed help with math. And uh, it just seemed like a, a good fit. So I went online to take a look at uh, what were offered out there. There's a lot of different uh, center applications, but um, the, the Mathnasium method is probably uh, most uh, intertwined with, with, with my philosophy and how I understand math. It's a common sense approach to math. Well, our, our motto is math that makes sense. That, that, and that's a wonderful thing. Thank you so much. It's Mathnasium in Liberty and Terry Rennick, our guest. Thank you so much, Terry. I appreciate it. Thank you.